guys, we are back with meal number two from Green Chef, yes. the plant-based version of Green Chef. Our first meal was uh, the fritters, the Japanese fritters, and I thought they were super delicious. Yep. I cleaned my plate. Okay, so tonight uh, I have decided that we are making artichoke crab cakes. Crab cakes, because there's no crab in them. No crab. I don't even know if there's artichokes. Let's check. This is, it's funny because this is a similar recipe. It's, you know, vegetable patties that we fry up just like the last one. <laughs> Some vegetable bouillon, organic white quinoa, and a bunch of uh, roasted uh, red peppers, which have already been sliced up and bagged a little slimy. Ugh. All right, well, I like that they, you know, chopped them up for us. That's okay. nice. So I read ahead just a tiny bit. What? And I know we need the food processor. Fine. And uh, I got you a cup and a quarter of water. Did you? Yes. What? So bring a cup and a quarter of water and a quarter teaspoon salt to a boil in a small pot. Is that that pot? That is that pot. Does it already have water in I'm it? I'm like so prepared. No, I put the water next to it. I Whoa, wanted you to I have the to... experience of pouring, but oh my God. you don't have to do the measuring. And then crumble vegetable bouillon over pot. Stir to dissolve. Place chia seeds in a large bowl. Three tablespoons water, stir to combine. Let's soak for five minutes. While you're doing that, I will strain and rinse artichoke hearts. Artichokes. That is a small amount of coin. Right? Doesn't it seem like not that much? Dump it. All right. I put the bouillon in and then... Okay, that's fairly squished up. I don't want to like blend it. Okay. Because it said combined. It didn't say turn it into mush. It said chopped. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's... Finely chopped. That's pretty good. Okay, so add quinoa and roasted red peppers. Stir and return to boil. Okay. So trim the ends off the zucchini. Okay, so the quinoa is simmering for the next 16 to 18 minutes. One and a half bags of this stuff. Okay, about half. Okay, zucchini is chopped. Base style blend. Three tablespoons of the lemon tartar sauce. One, two, and three. It's like sand. <laughs> It does kind of. Add artichokes and corn. Mix thoroughly for one minute. Let artichoke mixture set at least five minutes. Okay. This was a lot less chopping. This was infinitely less chopping. A lot more mixing, a lot less chopping. Yeah. All right. Well, now that I'm, I'm doing this, what do we got next? Then we just let it sit, and then we form patties, and then we let them sit in the fridge for another five minutes. You know, most crab cakes aren't really made out of crab in the first place. They're not? No. They're like artificial crab. Oh. Okay. Which okay. I wonder is, is what? I always thought it was like some type of fish that they were using or... I think it is. I think it's just like compressed white fish with crab flavoring or something. Hey Google, what's artificial crab made out of? The reason imitation crab isn't as nutritious as the real thing is because it contains no actual crab. That's right. The main ingredient is actually a fish paste called surimi. Surimi is often made from pollock fish with fillers and flavorings like starch, sugar, egg whites, and crab flavoring. So yeah, a bunch of uh, other stuff. Other stuff, <laughs> just like sausage. Take five, smoke them if you got them. Okay, Colin is over there uh, snuggling the cat, so I'm gonna form these patties by myself. Okay, so it says to make eight patties. Let's see how many I can get. I don't even know how to form these patties. Let me do, okay, I'm gonna try two scoops of that. And just flatten them out. It says um, to compress them while you form them. I feel like maybe these are supposed to be held together with like the chia seeds. You know how they get all gross and gooey? That's the only thing I can think of because there's no egg or anything in this binding it together. Okay, those are all formed, so I'm going to put these in the fridge for five minutes. Okay, uh, it's been five minutes. Yes, after a quick cat nap, we are ready for some, I'm gonna try some avocado in here. It, uh recommendation from a friend so hopefully it doesn't uh, it burns at a much higher temperature uh, than regular oil it's probably plenty uh, so we'll let that simmer shimmer shimmer it says shimmer yeah cool um here are my patties all right uh, i need like a little spatula guy Is it good? 45 minutes on a side. It almost seems like it needs more. How much uh, oil is it expecting? It just said like one and a half tablespoons, right? We can add more between. Um, uh, 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 yeah, I will. I will. You know, each. Yeah, because there's. Well, and with the nonstick pan, the oil kind of. It'll be fine. I think I just wanted them to soak up oil because they look really dry. Fried things are better. Than... Yeah, always. Yeah. yeah I, want, I want like it two inches. Right. Of oil. We should have just gotten at the deep fire prior. We should have. <laughs> We never use that thing. Has it been about five minutes? Okay, uh, yeah, more or less. 
you wanna? Desperately. <laughs> Okay, those are looking better. Yeah. Yeah, they were looking a little on the brown, brownish side, so I think they're they're perfect. Mm, some of these could use a little bit more like that one, but okay. um, I think it's fine. I mean, and it's not like you're eating raw meat, right? Not like you can undercook this stuff. All right, All right. it's about five minutes. Excellent. So let's get these perfectly cooked. Can you flip it so I can see the bottoms? Yes, I can. Yeah. Oh, a little burnt. Alright, add a little bit more oil to the pan. Yep, yep. Twice as much as I put in before. All the way in the pan. Oh, no, it fell apart. Ugh, ah. Terrible. Think of all the vegetables that perished for this meal. Yeah. Those look good. They look edible. I, I meant with the amount of oil and brownness, they look perfectly cooked. I'm excited. I'm going to eat all of this up. Um, um, um. Casualties are normal. <laughs> all right. All right, oil. open it up. Yep, and those in. avocado, or no, what is this called? Zucchini. Can you throw the nuts in too, please? Um, I they go in right away. Add zucchini and walnuts to hot pan. Season with a quarter teaspoon salt and a pinch of pepper. Stir three, four minutes. Yes. Nuts burn too quickly. I'm not putting them in. Uh, all right. I'm ignoring the destructions. Okay, so how do we plate these? Because we can probably start getting so ready says, for that. So it says quinoa in the middle, these guys on top, shingled, just like the shingles, other ones. Shingles, yes. And then, <laughs> and then that stuff on the side. Okay, you want to grab the quinoa and start yes. shoveling it? Yes, I do. It? All right, shoveling quinoa to burnt quinoa. Woo. Yeah, this is the non-burn parts. I feel like this is a great effort to make it look pretty. Dude. I'm good with mine looking like this. Yeah, like I don't you think this is done. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about done. Boom. It's not like vegetables with tartar sauce on it. I like it. Tartar sauce will make anything taste like crab cakes, I think. I don't even have the tartar sauce, and I think it's good. I mean, it's very artichokey. It tastes like artichokes, but yeah, and there's lots of seasoning and flavor in there. I think it's good. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to confuse anyone that these are crab cakes. Right. <laughs> um, for compressed vegetable cakes, they're really tasty. The quinoa is really salty and um, a little burnt tasting. Is it? Well, we burnt it. But it's like really overly salty. Like that was too much bouillon. That was too much. Yeah, like half the bouillon. Zucchini's good. Yeah, cakes are perfectly cakey. Yeah, I like the the cakes. <laughs> quinoa kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. I feel like I wasn't gonna eat the quinoa anyway, so don't feel bad. <laughs> You know, maybe if I mixed it in with uh, some of the zucchini or something, it wouldn't or, be so salty. Or the cakes. Or the cakes. Or the yeah. cakes. Yeah, because I mixed it with the cakes and it tasted fine. Mm. Okay. You know, it was totally fine. Right. And the zucchini and walnuts is good. I like that. Yeah. I like right. it. So overall, I'm happy with this. I mean, it's good. Not the best thing I've ever had, but no. perfectly edible. Yeah. And I think I'll enjoy it. I'm going to eat sweet. everything. <laughs> okay, so we have one more meal. So far, the pant plant-based green chef meals are uh, pretty good yeah. I think you know you're not buying it are you no <laughs> not for a moment I swear we're gonna we're gonna get Colin some meat on the next one <sighs> please okay thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video bye